think that we've taken this up all night theme just a bit too far. Maybe you think that this is some kind of new special effect. Maybe you think I'm being held hostage in my own bedroom by a fanatical group of leftist blonde haters. Nope, you're all wrong. Actually, I've gone off and joined the circus. What do you mean you don't believe me? I did. I joined Circus of the Stars. And the way they train you night and day is a full-time job. You'll see the results next week of all this pain. Believe me, it's no picnic. Here's one woman McKenna won't be able to take prisoner. It's Tracy Scoggins from the soon-to-be-released films Time Bomb and Dangerous Toys. I worked with her on Circus of the Stars and chatted with her about the kind of woman she'll be playing in her new film. I'm kind of a butt kicker girl in these. God, mm -hmm. I just can't imagine why. I, I don't know. You know, I play an assassin in one and a police detective in the other one. Ooh! Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you why in a second, but you know, Tracy is going to be doing the trapeze act, so you have to watch on Circus of the Stars because, whoa, we're talking awesome. Now, Tracy, I really want my viewers to eat their heart outs on USA up all night. Can you, like, do some of those, what do you call those things? Oh, chin ups? Yeah, those sure. things. Sure. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay, watch this, guys, all right? You USA up all night viewers, check this out. Up all night. <laughs> and for all you guys out there in the audience, I want you to do this too, because I think you can. A little spin over, Tracy, maybe? One. Whoa. Hey, how about a hand for Tracy Scoggins? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh. who's male, brunette, and irrepressible. From a different world, Corey Tyler. Hey, everybody out there. Peace <laughs> to you. What's going on? No. What's going on? What they really want to know is, what is it like to do the cradle? Wow, it's something that we've uh, been working on for about three months now, and it's great because it's, it's been like a challenge. And so every day we're coming over, Danny and myself, we keep working on it, keep working on it. So we're here at something that we're very proud of now that we've reached. And so uh, we're ready to do the circus and next week, tape it, and uh, it's very exciting, and I think that we're pretty much ready to do it. It is an accomplishment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Now, definitely. do you have more fun doing this than our different oh, world? Man. I love it both, just the same, just the same. Uh, I, I know, love, we've become circus yeah. performers. <laughs> it was strange, you know, practicing up on the trampoline the first day and everything, got down and I felt as if the solid ground was a trampoline. You get that weird feeling. But we've worked out all the kinks, you know, and, and all the fears and it's just going out and doing the best you can. And adrenaline high, is yeah. it great? Oh, it's great, it's great. <laughs> Trainers are crazy and, you know, it's great. All right, all right. Corey Tyler from a different world. All right, thanks a lot, Rhonda. Thank you. All right, all right, <laughs> thank you. That is, if you're on Circus of the Stars. Look, here I am, keeping my complexion radiant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the wonderful comedian who worked for weeks to learn to look like she didn't know what she was doing, the vivacious host and popular cable of the popular cable series Up All Night. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Rhonda Shear. Yay! That's the senior act producer, Gordon Smith. He is the one who kept me in tow for all those weeks of rehearsal. And just wait until you see it under the tent with my fabulous costume. But wait. Hi, Pete. Hi, uh, Rhonda. <laughs> this is Pete Menifee, who is very classy. He is doing all the wardrobe for Circus of the Stars. And give us some of your other credits, because they're too awesome for Rhonda to remember. Uh, first of all, I'm not responsible for anything you're looking at on camera right now, uh, except for what I have on. <laughs> Besides being able to work with Rhonda, I've dressed Shirley MacLaine and Anne Margaret, Goldie Hawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the unveiling of the Statue of Liberty? Yes, I dressed her, too. You actually invented, created the, the Statue of Liberty? No. You're not that old, Pete. No. <laughs> but, Pete, you think there's hope for Rhonda? I think that there's plenty of hope for Rhonda. I think she has a big career in front of her, so to speak. And wait till you see the costume that Rhonda has on Circus of the Stars that, yes, Pete created. He did it. <laughs> and you have to admit to it, admit it. It's yes, I, I, yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. The end of a career. It's all <laughs> over. No one will ever hire me again unless they want... I will. Feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pete is just kidding. He has one of the most illustrious careers in Hollywood. And here's just a teeny peek at what he's designed for Rhonda. Circus of the Stars airs next Friday night on CBS at 9. At 11, you can watch Rhonda right here on USA. Up 
all night. Stars. Backstage at rehearsal, I talked to a great pair of stars who have a lot to say about what it's like to be a real circus performer. I asked Alfonso Ribeiro from Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Gabriel Carteros of Beverly Hills 90210 to tell us about the High Wire Act and how long it takes to master a feat like that. You're seeing now. What's it been like? Oh, it's been uh, exciting and really frightening. A lot of tears and a lot of laughter. Some pain. A lot of pain. Pull those muscles. But we've been working on them. Yeah. So do those splits. We've got an awesome yeah. person here to help us. And Alonso, yeah. what do you think about all this? Well, Don't tell know. us what you're doing up there, because it's a very special surprise yes. what he's doing up there. It's, it's on wonderful the... stuff. It's something that has never been done before. It's true. So you watch Ever. for them Ever. on Fresh Prince of, of Bel, Air, Bel Air, Beverly Hills, 90210. It's all, all these L.A. kind of things. You know, and on Circus of the Stars. Would you like right. one more last thing to say? Because we have to now go. I'll say that we love you. Some kind of training, huh? The written word. And I want you to meet a man who is responsible for writing Circus of the Stars. How can you write for lions, tigers, bears, elephants? And me, upside down Rhonda. You'll be a little bit surprised by who he is and what he's written before this. Bruce just won an Emmy for writing the Oscars. Shouldn't you win an Oscar Grim. for that? Yes, I should, should win the Nobel Prize is what I should win. <laughs> but your line was wonderful. What was your line? Come on, tell us. I know, I know. When I said, I'm very sorry I didn't have to sleep around to get this award. <laughs> but we know better. And I am, too, and I am available now. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm making my first inroads. <laughs> Show the T-shirt. Why is it so sunny at 2 o'clock in the morning? I don't <laughs> well, Where up are all we, night, Alaska? This is up all night. Anything can happen. this is your northern exposure? It is. <laughs> you, lovely. Wh who's got the best top? <laughs> It's a, race, it's a race to the death, isn't it? Mine says coconuts. Mine is Mr. And mine McGill. are coconuts. Then, by God, <laughs> it's a theme evening. There's never a dull moment on that set. <laughs> Spectacular feat that I couldn't believe anyone in their right mind would do. But William Cat, star of the greatest American hero, seems to do with the greatest of ease. And then I talked to him about what it's like doing something like this by choice. You were awesome up there. Thank Tell me you. what it's like and the first time you went up. Uh, spooky. Really? Every day I've been on the wheel doing something new, I've said, no way, I'm not going to do that. And I, I fool myself and I do it. You're you know? impressing a lot of people. I mean, no, really, it was like, <laughs> <gasps> you've impressed me. Now I must have you. No, you, well, we don't want to give this away. Climb up into my wheel with me. <laughs> I, well, they have to watch Circus of the Stars to see what you are going to do, but it is awesome and scary. Mm -hmm. Now, has this been a lot... I mean, you're getting a lot of discipline. Is this, does this help your acting? Well, it's, uh, it's a real test uh, uh, to me, you know, every day. It's, it's overcoming my fear to get up there, you know. And when I'm walking on the outside of it, it's 50 feet from my head to the ground. And, uh, you know, we're working with a safety belt now, but I have done it a couple times without it, and it's, it's kind of frightening. It's a little scary. Now, yeah. without a net. Now, you know, I'm doing the web, uh -huh. and I don't have a net. You don't have a net. Do you think that has anything to do with the value of our, <laughs> of our eyes? <laughs> anyway, thank you for talking You're to us, welcome. William. It's very impressive. Thank you, thank you. And you so thing. cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ron, next backstage interview we did with a man who's been the senior act producer on Circus of the Stars for over 10 years. And he's seen them all, he's worked with them all, and has a reputation for being a tough taskmaster. Rhonda was actually afraid of him. Well, until this. Okay, now, this next gentleman, one of my favorite friends at the circus, yes, he is the executive act producer, Gordon Smith. <laughs> he's a very scary person because... Well, he's the one who, who gets me up there on the web. Up, up there on up the web. There. Up there. You get up there. You're very good on Have I been too. good? You've been a pro in every way. Oh, wow. Well. Do you really mean that? I mean it. You're on time. You're inventive. You have personal discipline. You are, you belie the character that you play. My viewers. Beneath this fluffy exterior, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you will find a consummate professional, you a will... true, dedicated artiste. And when you see her on Circus of the Stars, you'll know what I mean. Oh, gosh, that was beautiful. <laughs> but don't believe a word he said. I'm still Rondo in USA. Up all night. Now, I know you can say it. What? Up, up all night? Up. Down and dirty. No. Uh, up. up all night. I got him to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you thought blondes were all froth. Well, specimen from backstage at Circus of the Stars, I had a lovely chat with Julie Condra from Erie, Indiana, as I discovered her bending into position. <laughs>
Rhonda with some of our circus friends. Who do we have here? Upside down. It's Julie Kandra from Erie, Indiana, who plays Cindy. Are you evil? It's our sweet. I'm sweet with a hint of evil. You never Ooh. quite know. Rhonda likes that. Now, <laughs> Julie's doing something amazing on Circus of the Stars. She is flying through the air on the trapeze. And that was it hard? I have my days where it's really, really hard. But it's exciting. It's fun. Oh, no, it's discipline. It really is, because we're up here every day, even when we're working late nights. I've been shooting a lot of nights lately. So um, we're up here early in the morning trying to get the circus in every day, so it's fun. But you're so teeny and tiny. What about those muscles? What are you I'm growing muscles. Look at that rope burn. That's a nice one. She's growing muscles. Ron has <laughs> been trying that for years. <laughs> anyway, we're going to look for Julie on Circus of the Stars in Erie, Indiana. Good luck, and you are beautiful up there. Thank you. Give you a say up all night viewers an evil look. <laughs> Co-executive producer of Circus of the Stars, who just happens to be a woman. Rhonda, you are just too much, and I have to tell you, I own the circus too. And in 16 years of being on the air, we're the best developed act we've ever had. <laughs> Boy, did they pay her a lot to say no, that. It's true. <laughs> she is so sweet. See, she's my boss for this. And every day just she goes, just for a moment. Just for a little while. Yes. But this is very exciting. later when you really do it for real. Oh, thank you. We're going to have a great time. So watch Circus of the Stars and you'll see Bunny you sure cringing. Will. Right. <laughs> thank you, Goodbye, Bunny. Sweetheart. Good luck. <laughs> Wasn't that sweet? See how women always stick together? You know, our heroes are stranded in the desert. Sean is possibly flying into danger in a plane that could give out at any moment. And the bad guys are rushing to Vegas after running Muggsy and the girls off the road. When is there this much excitement going on? You know what that means? People won't realize the story might be a little shallow, Rhonda. Dennis, you've been watching the film with Rhonda. That's so exciting. You know, this is Dennis Miller. <laughs> I'm a big right. film buff, and you I, are, and I was in Vegas for the fight, and I said, what am I going to a heavyweight championship Let's fight for when I can be watching the movie, That's damn it. Wait, now, is it, is this, that, you know, you, you take, no, you but you're, you're, it, you're, but you're at home with this, except you've got a big really. mic on I, your show. I don't show. do the Montague. I know. The Donahue, Montague. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do the Donahue thing. But you have that big mic, that professional mic. Yes. <laughs> now, and how's things going with the show? Um, let me see. I've been on around five months. I think I'm doing it pretty well. Yeah, you it are. It hasn't quite, uh, it's not up to speed ratings-wise with the other two shows, but I'm the, oh. I'm the new kid well, on the block. Maybe that's because you need more girls, you know, just sort of... <laughs> Sitting on your lap and doing that girl thing. What do you think, Dennis? Is there a shot? Uh, Rhonda, unless you have a Nielsen family in that cleavage, I don't know that it'll help. Oh, trust me, I have a Nielsen family and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> you know, we're going to be back. Wait, who do you think's going to win? Uh, Gilbert Godfrey. No, uh, I, I think. Not on uh, Friday night. Hollyfield. Hollyfield. All right, our Holly, Holly, Holly. All right, now, Rhonda and Dennis. Your little midnight morsel. We'll be right back after these very important messages. You know, we got to pay the bills too, right? You know yes, how that do. is. Yes, we do. You were very good. Thank you, Cute. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'd like to say not many people recognize me because of the dark glasses, but there you are, George <laughs> Foreman, after all. Thank you. I recognize you, George, and it's an honor to be with you. Now, I have a couple questions. First of all, who do you think is going to win? I believe Larry Holmes is going to pull this out. It's going to be about a couple of points, but he's going to win the first uh, seven, eight rounds. And Evander Holyfield is going to realize at the last moment that he's been playing around and trying to catch up, and the first knockdown is going to happen. It's going to be a tough fight, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both guys going down, but Larry Holmes is going to win it. Can you believe you heard it here? All right, now, are you going to fight the winner? No doubt in my mind. I think that George Foreman and Larry Holmes are going to be the fight. People from Mars already calling in for tickets parking space, where to get those spaceships. And can you believe it was the USA Network who put George Foreman and Larry Holmes in the spotlight? Can you believe it? I love this man. Can you believe it? And this is the most important question of all. Can I just touch your arm? Yeah, look at that muscle. I mean, I've been on a diet. I've been eating. What did you eat uh, for breakfast this morning? About four pieces, six hamburgers. I used to eat 12, but I'm down to 11 now. Oh, I like that. Le oh, no more dozen. George, thank you. It was, it was a pleasure meeting you. I'm so thank excited. You. and. We'll be back with more of USA Up All Night right after this. How you doing? Eleven burgers. Putting back on my dog glasses. Now. <laughs> I gotta hide. I don't incognito. You know what? Rhonda's here in Las Vegas behind the scenes at a fight with Paul Rodriguez. Look who I found. And I'm standing very close to you because I'm just spellbound. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I usually, uh, I usually don't get that spellbound, but <laughs> it's nice to be close to you. Uh, obsession? Sung. Sung? Sung. But tell me now, ah. enough about that. What are you doing right now in your life? Well, I'm here at Caesar's Palace and I'm uh, 
I'm actually rooting for Holmes, I hate to tell you. Yeah, well that's good. Holmes in seven. I got 500 pesos on him. I don't think Larry Holmes is too prepared. I think he went out a couple of cheeseburgers showing up, collecting seven mil, and he's out of here. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? I just want to see a good fight. Uh, you know, Evander Holyfield has a lot of things going for him. Holmes has some things going for him. Uh, so I think we're going to see a good fight. The world's biggest box office star, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. What can I tell you? What's the fascination with actors and, and heavyweight fights? What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. This is the first one I've ever been to. I don't believe in gladiator sports, but I wanted to see Larry. Sugar Ray, thank you for being with us on USA Up All Night. Now, who do you think is going to win tonight? Well, I think the old man. I think Larry Holmes has the uh, the formula to kind of uh, disrupt Evander Holyfield. Well, I, I'm, I'm for the old man. I like Larry. Larry time. Larry time. Larry time. Larry's in the house. Well, Larry he time. But I've got Hector's in the house right now. Macho. Right now. We're going to check out some commercials. Then we'll be back with more of USA Up All Night. Macho time. Macho time. It's fun to hear on USA Up All Night. And I'm at Summerfest in Milwaukee standing next to the legendary Kenny Loggins. Hi. Hi. I, am. I did get to meet you, though, recently in Hawaii. That's right. We, I work, we work together at an age benefit. I have it, yeah, I have it on my resume that I opened for you. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you would. Uh, oh. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. These what, are the jokes. These are the jokes. And what's it like out there at Summerfest? Because you've been here this before. This is a major party. This is, a, what, about 100,000 people all uh, getting drunk and walking around somewhere in the Midwest. It's, uh, <laughs> they couldn't do this in L.A., I'll tell you that. No, they can't. <laughs> They're not as wild. But just tell me about it. I, a rumor has it that you've written a new tune. <laughs> right. I have a, a, a new song that I wrote for an Audubon special that will be on the Disney Channel uh, in October. The special is called This Island Earth, and uh, so I wrote a theme for it. You are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I have to flirt. It's part of my job. I get paid yeah. for it. I promise you. I don't you right mind. There. You don't, I don't mind. mind. All right. Wait, okay, let me put my arm around you because coming up in Porky's, well, it's a little bit of romance. Oh, you're doing this card really well. Keep Thank going. you. I don't read cards. The boys fall in love with the girls of their dreams. And stuff like that. And stuff <laughs> like that. Okay, we'll take three for 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm just standing here. Okay. <laughs> now, back to Porky's Quick and the close. beautiful people on USA. Up oh, all night. That's very good. You did good. I did well. I can't read. What? <laughs> USA up all night at the Rockline 10th anniversary party. Who do I have with me? I have Brian Setzer, originally from Stray Cats. Yes, she even said my name right. I certainly did, of course. Come here. I just look like a blonde, but you have blonde hair, so I could do blonde jokes on you, too. Yeah, well, no. I'm sort of blonde. You're sort of blonde now. <laughs> I got now, sideburns. <laughs> Brian, you are doing rockabilly music with Stray Cats. What are you up to now? Well, uh, we're still doing rockabilly music all over the world, and... Uh, we're going on tour in October. We're starting in Florida, and we're ending up in Boston. Ooh, wow, that's so, very nice. We're I still doing it. Great success with that. Yeah. I haven't harassed you too much, but I do have to ask you about this tattoo. That's what? a long part of many. <laughs> it's a long part of many. It's a long segment that goes down my arm, yeah. Ooh, there's always a story behind tattoos, and Rhonda's just going to have to ask Brian about that off camera. Anyway, thank you, Brian, for talking with us. Okay. We'll be back with more USA up all night. Can you go up all night? Up all night. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back to USA Up All Night. It's Ronnie, your little bedtime buddy here. And after watching Bruno and Calvin tear up those school hallways, I'm beginning to think that rock and rollers who are tearing up the carpet here are pretty tame. Now, you know who I'm with? Two incredibly famous people. We have Al and Trevor from Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Now, Rhonda's really excited because you guys have gotten back together and you're on tour and it's incredibly successful. You want me to tell you, tell me something about it. It's been wonderful. We've had a great time watching people like you watching us. Whoa. So what do you give your audience? Um, everything. <laughs> everything they want. Including, including beep. Including what, beep? Yeah, what do you want? Um, well, whatever you'll give Rhonda, I'd be very happy. Uh, a little shoulder for up all night viewers? You, you want... Oh, a heart! <gasps> Catch that! A heart tattoo. Does it have a little story behind it? Um, Come on. I can tell you later. That's not for... Oh, Rhonda has privy info. Al, do you have something you want to show us? No, not on camera. 
<laughs> you know what, Rhonda just loves here. I wish you all continued great success. I hope to be in the audience bouncing for you. In the meantime, right now, we're going to go back to commercial on USA. Up all night now. Can you say up all night? Up all night. Can, can, you, can you sing up all night? Up. Astro. Up all night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic lady, we have Pat Benatar. Hi, Pat. How are you? Good, hot. Very hot. Very hot. Mmm. It is. Oh, it's feeling good. Now, Pat, you have made a departure recently on your latest album. Tell us about it. Uh, it was an R&B record. We did a bunch of old blues songs, and uh, it was great. We had a good time. It's fun. It's doing fantastic. Congratulations. Is it great? Is it something you've always wanted to do? Or mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been uh, big blues fans forever, and it was really fun. It was fun. To do. Now, anything up? That, that we can look for, that'll be a total surprise from you after this? <laughs> if I ever can get out of this place, yeah, that'll be a surprise. Um, uh, I don't know, we're gonna go in the studio in January. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but... Well, we'll be looking, you'll keep us surprised. Okay, thank you so much for being with us on USA Up All Night. We'll be right back, stay with us for more excitement. Wetton from the supergroup Asia. Yes, no another. Um, oh, now, this is really exciting because you have just signed a solo. solo yeah. For a solo record with Virgin Records. Oh, how appropriate for Rhonda. Um, Absolutely, me too. <laughs> well, I know, but you keep walking away from oh, me, so you have to, you have to like, yes, bond with Rhonda bond. on the show. Tell me a little bit about what you'll be doing on this new album. Well, it'll be different from the Asia kind of music. It'll be more, um, more of myself, more personal ideas and experiences, as opposed to you know rock and roll fantasies, which. No Maybe fantasies a in? Possibly a few, yeah. Oh, possibly a <laughs> few. Rhonda would like to know some of those fantasies. Just one quick fantasy. Um, oh my God, you got me there. Um, wait, wait, I'll help out with that. A night with you. Oh boy, did he say the right thing. I think we should go right back to our film Rebel High and just see what happens when the state inspector checks the school. I'm sure he'll be okay as long as he isn't carrying any cash on him. Do you agree? Absolutely. John, you are adorable. Good luck with you. Thank you. <laughs> he was waiting for the kiss. <laughs> this is very exciting. This is Rhonda here on USA Up All Night with the one and only Stevie Nicks, who just said Rhonda Vision. Rhonda Vision is my favorite. I love this woman. Uh, now, I've been standing here watching thousands of photographers taking pictures of you, asking you in incredibly deep questions. And I just want to talk to you about the way you look. You have big hair like Rhonda. Yes. You like that? I love that. Big hair. And show us your shoes. Now, now, excuse me, this is Stevie, your yes. total free spirit. I am, I am behind the times, but in my own fashion warp. See, I love this. This is, what, this is what Up All Night viewers really want to know. But you do have a Greatest Hits album out. Yes, I do. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's just a fun collection of my favorite songs. And it's really not the greatest hits or the best of. It's just my favorite Stevie Vision song. I like that. And you're on tour. You're on an incredible tour right now. I was on tour. I'm off tour now, and I've just been doing a lot of press and getting very bored and wanting to go back on tour. All right. Maybe you can come on Rhonda's Up All Night Show. I would love to come on your Up All Night Show. Oh, great. Now, you, you heard it here, so maybe we'll get her. You never know. You want to throw it back to where are we going? We're going, oh yeah, we're going back to the food fight. It's incredible. Fight. Yeah, the food fight. I must the film. I now, can you say USA <laughs> up all night for us? USA up all night. From Stevie Nicks. Yeah, come on. Let's hear it for Stevie. <laughs> all night. Having the most incredible time at the Rockline 10th anniversary party with Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. I'm bouncing for you. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Rhonda. <laughs> and how have you been? I've been fine. Oh, good. You know, you said you were a fan. Is that true? It's true. I've been a fan for minutes now. Minutes? You're... I've been a fan of yours now. Wait, this is a fashion statement. I want you to pan his body. Show him, oh my God, a little contortion thing. Great shoes. Yes, you can, uh, this is like, what, what do you call? <laughs> Take a look at these boots. I tell you, the boots and the shoes. <laughs> really, quite. This is kind of a hopping. This is what, well, this is good because they like a bouncing sort of, you know, thing here. Ratings right. are going up now. now. Yes, ratings. Here, here come the ratings now. Weird Al, yes. are you going to do a Rhonda song? I'm working on right now, even as we speak. You go Rhonda, it? Rhonda, I watch you on my Walkman in my Honda. Um, that's as far as I've gotten so far. Okay, then I think you can throw it back too, because right now we're going to. Commercial on USA. Hey, 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 oh, 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 oh. On to here on USA. Up all night, and I'm speaking to Gordon Thompson, who is really Mason Capwell. 
All right, I've got to ask you what everyone wants to know about the love scenes. Do you enjoy them? <laughs> yes, I do. It depends on who you're having love scene with. I had one with Karen Moncrief about three months ago. It was oh, she's gorgeous. On, isn't she beautiful? Oh. Ardent, too. Um, it got a little violent. It was nice. It was fun. You can't go v- too far, not even on day Was five. that expected to be violent, or did it just happen? <laughs> we, we fooled around a little bit and found out what we thought might work. Who? That's what you do. Oh. Well, what about the makeup and the lipstick? How does it stay on? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> oh, I'm just so jealous. I'm gonna do well. We'll be back. We're going to commercial. Um, we're gonna just let's talk about that violent kind okay. of thing. The violent kind of thing. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. Oh Fine. my. We have to stand oh up. Oh, we have to stand, stand up. up. Here, come on. Oh my gosh. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's Rhonda here on USA Up All Night, and I'm speaking with Karen Moncrief, who plays Cassandra on Santa Barbara. What's that like? Mm-hmm. How, just tell me, how devious are you being right now? She's the most devious. Actually, right now, she's sort of on a, on a downslope, but she's been really bad. Really bad with <laughs> she's men? She's of about three of her fr- best friends from all of her life, and um, she's done some bad things. She's manipulated quite a few people. Ooh, now, is this very close to the way you are, Karen? You look so sweet. Oh, God. Well, I hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, inside of all of us, there's that little devious female thing going on. No, no, you, you, no I'm a pretty straight shooter. <laughs> you wore another soaps before Santa Barbara. Yeah, I did a year on Days of Our Lives, and I've done some shorter stints on other soaps, Bold and Beautiful, Guiding Light. So how is this different? Well, it's, uh, the writing's wonderful on the show, and um, it's I think the whole ensemble feeling of, of the cast is... is Maybe more in place, and um, and you're up to your one-year yeah, anniversary like soon. Yeah, and, and my character is really fun to play because she is bad. She is, yeah. you know, she is so different from. You have that Lyon. brunette bad look. You know, that, why is that? You know, they think blondes are sweet and brunettes are bad. <laughs> I want, I don't know what, what is that. We're women. We're all bad. Now, one other question I'm going to ask you. You're a former Miss Illinois, I read. Oh, no. Who there's told there's you nothing that matter with that because I'm a former Miss Louisiana. Now, do you ever it's use right? all of that? Do you ever use, does any of that beauty queen smile, Vaseline on the teeth thing ever come into play here? You know what? I guess it's sort of that training is so ingrained that you never really get rid of it. But I, ooh. Oh, no, it's I great. I love it. I wish we had a crown here. We could put both of them on. No, please. <laughs> <Hi, Mom. laughs> we're going to see, see more of Karen Moncrief. In the meantime, when Rhonda comes back, do you know what we're going to have? Rhonda's personal look at the movie. Yes, the Miller Genuine Draft movie movement. It's a black limo. It looks important. You never know who can be in those black limos with the tinted glasses. A very beautiful young lady just got out. And oh my God, it's MacGyver! It's MacGyver! Hi, hi, hi. This is Terry Hatcher and Richard Dean Anderson. Now, Terry plays the naughty doctor, right? Yes, the naughty doctor. Now, I know you're not showing a lot of cleavage tonight, but you do show cleavage yes, in soap do. Yes, I do. Now, is that a departure from the real Terry? Oh, well, certainly. No, here. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have cleavage? Yeah, besides cleavage. Can you believe it? This is USA Up All Night, and our viewers love cleavage. They're going to absolutely love you in Soap Dish, as oh, all of America yes, will. Yes. Was it fun doing this role? A lot of fun. We had a great time. It was absolutely wonderful. I'm Dr. Monica DeMonico, the neurosurgeon assigned to this case. You must be Dr. Rod Randall. It was so good of you to come on such short notice. Did you ever do a soap before this? No. So it's a first. Now, I have to ask Richard because you are on the USA Network. That's what I hear. Yeah, I've been living in Canada for the last four years and I wasn't really aware of uh, what kind of coverage and exposure USA had given it, but I, I guess we own the network now. <laughs> big coverage, you're a big guy, and what else do you have going on right now? Right now I'm on hiatus and we're getting ready for the seventh season of MacGyver, so uh, we'll have a whole other season uh, facing us now. But I have other things in development and it's like life is, as usual right now. I must say, you all are a gorgeous couple. Are you a couple? Oh! No! No, no. we're not a couple. Okay. We're, he's my no. escort and friend. We've been friends for about six years. Yeah. Uh, Terry was kind enough to do a couple of episodes of MacGyver some years ago, although don't hold that against her. <laughs> She's now a movie uh, actress, but we've remained friends over the years. Well, you are a beautiful couple. I hope, I hope you enjoy the film. Good luck to you. We'll see you on the USA Network, and we'll see you in Soap Dish. Thanks. All right, thank you. Right now, we're going back to Lisa. Hi there. Oh, uh, thank you. What a beautiful out- outfit. I'm Rhonda on USA Up All Night. And uh, what's it like to change roles from a reporter now to a movie star? 
Well, I'm not working so hard. When you come to these premieres, this is the easy part because you get to go in and sit down and have a good time rather than do the work like you guys. But um, no, I'm much more comfortable holding the mic like on your side. Is this the first time seeing the film or have you seen it before? I saw it a few weeks ago. It's really very funny. Is it exciting to see yourself on the big screen now? Well, you know, the thing is, when, you, when your face is that big, um, you, you just kind of have a lot of tragic flaws, and it's like, do, are my pores really that huge? Oh, it's you are absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. I wish you good luck with your movie career and your reporting career and anything you want to do. Thank you. Bless Thank you so much for talking to us. We'll be back. Stay with us on USA Up all night. Hi. Hi, Brandon. Hi, I'm Rhonda Shear on USA Up all night. Okay. Now, now, you own part of the USA Network. Well, Paramount does. Oh, so this is about a raise, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you knew what I was what thinking. You're a mind reader. To, oh, wow, I don't this know. is it's so not cool. I of you, really. Really? But you are my, my boss, so to speak. I, I'm, I'm half of your boss, because there is MCA, right? Yes, there is. Right. But you have any tips for me? Because I, I do want to make you happy. Don't edit this interview. Trust me, Mr. Tartikoff, this will not be edited. Don't cut around the punchline. He's a very good-looking man, a lot isn't of he? So far, hasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Smile at the USA up all night, viewers. Right. Can you say USA up all night? USA up all night. You can't go a little higher on that up. USA up all night. Right after Letterman on the other channel. <laughs> Have a good time, boss. Nice right. meeting you. How about that raise? You saw him. He pulled money out. We'll be back. Rhonda loves Hollywood. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., you're with Rhonda on USA Up all night. Now, Robert, you're 26 years old. You've been in 16 films. How did you study for a part where you play a sleazy producer that loves women? I went to the Rodeo Collection. <laughs> and you did very well. Thank you, kindly. Now, really, this is, this is, is this a fun part for you? It was really fun. I can't wait till we shoot it again. Oh, it's <laughs> the done. The sequel? Bless you. <laughs> You'll is see. it a stretch? Oh, let me look at the monitor. You know... Paul Johansson, come over here. Paul, Hi. you're on your own. Robert Downey has left you. You are gorgeous. I'm not wow. really alone, am I? You play Bolt, right? Yeah, you've seen it? No, but I'm going to see it. Oh, now, you she's are, flirting with me, and I, I know I'm she's flirting big flirt time because Rhonda can do this. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Paul, tell us a little bit about you were in Santa Barbara for about a year now. Was this a lot different than actually being on a real soap opera? Um, no, it's exactly the same. Maggie, I came as soon as I heard. I was at the gym doing leg lifts when Father Corey told me about your experience at the soup kitchen. Are you all right? Oh, the film, yeah, the film was incredible. I had, um, I was... Do all those soapy things happen when you're on soap, when you're on Santa Barbara? Say that again. You have you violet know, eyes. I do. You have green eyes. You were, yeah. <laughs> we'll here. be right back. Come closer <laughs> to us. Don't keep going away. Yeah, you So now you played basketball. Yes. <laughs> were you good? Were you a better actor or a better basketball player? Um, wow, that's really interesting. They both require luck and preparation so luck and preparation you know really i'm preparing to flirt with you anyway thank you for talking okay. to us have a good time with the film ronda will be back stay with us this is so exciting wasn't he gorgeous oh what was that like oh it was so much fun i got to work with some of the best people in the business sally field and kevin klein and whoopi goldberg so it was a great experience for me. And you're still a student at Harvard University, is that not right? Yeah, I have uh, one more semester to finish, probably finish up in the spring. Now, how are you dealing with acting and studying at the same time? It's great. I really enjoy having both. You know, it's a luxury to go to college, and I would never give it up. Wow. And who's this, this nice young man to your left? This is my friend. <laughs> this is friend. David. She's never had a friend before, but now she has a friend. <laughs> well, you look like a very nice friend, David. I wish you a lot of luck. I heard wonderful things about you in the film. Thanks for stopping by and talking to us. Elizabeth Shue and David, her friend, right here. Elizabeth. <laughs> USA. Up all night. Quick, quick, hi. <laughs> it's Rhonda Shear. How are you doing? Nice to see you. How are you? Just super. Wow, now are you, now, and that's Julie. This is Julie. Julie, come on over. Julie, geez, how are you? Nice to meet you. Now, you may not know this, but I'm on your show, June the 19th. No, no, I know, I know you are. I can't wait. And if he didn't know, he faked it really well. We get to dish some dirt together. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I now, can't now wait. tell us more things that are happening on the Rick D show and other things in Rick D's life. Are you kidding? Uh, well, let's see, it's Memorial Day weekend, so tomorrow that means we're going to have the Undy 500. Yes, we're going to have people on tricycles. In fact, I'm getting uh, uh, Sally Field and Elizabeth Shue to show up tomorrow morning real early. We're going to put them in underwear and put them on tricycles. Julie, what do you think about that? 
hey, I think it's great. It helps buy my clothes. Yeah. I mean, all this stuff, you know. Got I that. love this, Mom. You have to be practical. You how know? honest can you get? <laughs> can you do a quick impression, impression for us really quick? Jane Fonda's here at the thing. Hi, um, this is Jane Fonda. Hello. Have you eaten today? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> have a great time at the premiere. See you on the June 19th. Rick Dees and Julie. Rhonda will be right back. Stay with us.